In PC Building Simulator 2, the lighting app has gotten a huge overhaul, which means we really can RGB all the things. We're gonna turn off the lights to better appreciate the changes in the RGB settings here. We're gonna use this computer, it's ready to go. It's got a bunch of different components with RGB on them. So let's jump into the lighting app. Here we are in the lighting app. It's on our desktop, just like normal. And what's great is while we're in here, we can actually preview and see the computer while we make our changes. We obviously have options to turn everything off. If you're into that, you could turn individual components on or off. For this one, we're just gonna select all and make all of our changes to all of them at once. We've got a few different modes here. Static, breathe, rainbow, temperature, strobe, heartbeat, music. We're gonna run through all of them briefly. Static, exactly what you'd expect it to be, one single static color. Great, you can change the color. The color selectors change a little bit. We have a basic bunch of, a palette of different colors. And then we can also get into advanced and tune exactly which color we want and adjust saturation and brightness. That's available in all the modes. Breathe is gonna actually do, we can do a single color breathe. So it's that kind of slow inhale, exhale color. We can also do a two color mode. So we could go between, those are two colors that are very, very similar. Uh, we could go through like a red and a teal. So you can see there's a red transition into the teal and out. We can adjust our speed with this mode also. That's the breathe effect. And of course, we've got rainbow, the good old unicorn vomit here. But what's cool is we can do more than just set rainbow and set a speed. We can actually do some things to change the way that this animation functions between components. So if we turn off all and go to, let's go to walk, which is actually going to walk through the different components. And we, of course, we can adjust the speed to show this a little better. Walk through the components and turn certain ones off and uh, that order of how that happens is determined by the numbering over here. So you can change this numbering one through, in this case, 12 components with RGB LEDs on them. And that sets the order of how this happens. So right now we've got downstream and walk. If we go upstream, it's gonna go in the other direction. And what's cool is you can see in the fans that the LEDs in those fans are individually addressable. We don't just have one color in that fan at a time. We've got multiple colors happening. So that's also a really exciting update. Temperature shows the temperature, kind of at a glance of a different component. We can do GPU, we can use the sensors in the GPU, the CPU, or the case, and then we'll, we can set the colors of LED that we want to indicate uh, a low temperature, kind of an average temperature range, and then a high temperature range. So a good way to check and monitor system temperature at a glance using RGB. The strobe function gives you sort of that strobe effect that's very slow right now. If we speed this up, it'll make more sense, but kind of that flashing, build flash out kind of thing. We can also do a two color here where it's gonna incorporate a red and a blue in this case and do a strobe effect. And we get all those direction options that we had back on the rainbow as well. So we can actually walk this effect around or we can flow the effect around and create a pretty neat looking effect on our RGB. Heartbeat gives you that heartbeat look. So this is actually, if we go faster, you'll see it a little better. Uh, kind of the lub dub of a heart. Lub dub, lub dub. You know, you get it, your, your, your computer, it's, it's breathing, it's pumping blood, can't you tell? And then finally, we've got the music effect, which actually syncs the LEDs with the music that you're playing in the game. So to change it to something a little more thumpy that would really show off how this feature works. But you can see as we're hitting, hitting the, drums, we're getting our flashing, which is pretty cool, pretty fun effect, and works great with the new Peace Bing Simulator 2 soundtrack, which is excellent. In addition to all the lighting modes that we just saw, we also have the ability to save and load presets. So we can choose our lighting exactly how we like it, save a preset, and then we can always load a different preset to be able to test different lighting modes and see exactly which one we like. So all of these different features, new enhancements with the lighting app will really give you all the control you need to complement your rig with the ultimate RGB setup.